Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In highlight or in anticipation, in highlight? Is that the right word? I'm not sure. In uh, anticipation of the new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which we're going to be covering content heavily on this channel. We are going to dive into Final Fantasy VII Remake and we're going to be checking out the Intermission DLC. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this video. I'm going to actually record in the 30 FPS um, graphical mode because I want to see if A, I like playing it like that uh, and B, how good it actually looks. We're also going to be doing the classic combat system just to give it a bit of a comparison to the new game. And we're going to be checking out this DLC and I hope you enjoy it. And as always, comment, like and subscribe if you do. Let's get into the action. Yuffie. <clears throat> My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche? Where are you? Come get me already! Uh... Okay, if I was a man in a Moogle hat... Huh? <laughs> Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> yeah. So here we are, and straight off the bat, I just want to say it's amazing how close the graphics are in the graphical fidelity mode to the FMV sequence. It really is a stunning looking game. I am playing this in this mode, and I want to see because this is sort of like the closest thing to Rebirth. Obviously, I've got the demo playthrough up on my channel, but I am contemplating playing the new Final Fantasy through and doing my Let's Play in the graphical fidelity mode. So this is kind of a prelude and a test of that. So we're going to be, like I said, playing in the classic mode. So Yuffie can fight effectively both up close and from range. Press square to strike foes with a throwing star. Hold to continue attacking. So this has got a little bit of a similar combat system to Reba. So here we go. So let's just see what she does. So I'm not controlling the character right now. So we're going to throw the star, retrieve the star, throw the star, retrieve the star. And we're going to have a look at her abilities. So we've got some uh, cool ones here. Elemental Ninjutsu. Okay. So we're going to try... 
Lightning Ninjutsu. Interesting. So, the, I am very um, tempted to play the new Final Fantasy in this classic mode. A little bit more relaxed in the 30 FPS mode. I really get that graphical fidelity popping. I wasn't too happy with the graphics in the performance mode. So I think moving forward, this definitely be a way of resolving said issues. I'm so excited for Reba, and I do hope that you subscribe to the channel and ring that post notification bell and join me on my illustrious journey. We're going to be doing a lot of content. So here we go. We're going to throw our start, pull it back. Throw start, pull it back. So it is a much more relaxing way of playing the game. It's actually quite enjoyable. It's not turn-based like the original, um, which is a shame. But nevertheless, this is the closest we've got. So we're going to be trying this out. Windstorm, let's have a look at this one. Beautiful effects on the abilities, definitely. So, for some strange reason, obviously, I've got all my characters in Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake maxed out. I've got every item in the game. I uh, spent hundreds of hours in the game. But for some reason, I never played the DLC. I never played this DLC. And for the life of me, I can't, I can't think why. So, I figure now is as good a time as any. And I must say, in the graphical fidelity mode, I think it looks absolutely stunning. The backdrops and everything. It just looks beautiful. It's amazing how close the graphics are to sort of films and uh, CGI movies that were out in the 90s. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. There was uh, Advent Children. Like, how close this is to Advent Children. Like, it's, it, it, it's mind-blowing. And uh, a great time to be a gamer, to be fair. Um, I don't actually know where I'm going here. We took a wrong turn here, guys. I think we might have done. On the map screen, let's have a look. So I'm a little bit confused here. So we've got quite a big area here to cover. We make our way towards the checkpoint. I mean, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Look at the big backdrops. That's really cool. Question is, can we jump across here? Not likely. I've also ordered myself a new Secret Labs chair and a new Razor Wolverine controller to make sure that, that I'm very comfortable and I can ensure that I'm going to be recording plenty of hours of Final Fantasy Rebirth for you guys. We're going to be covering a large amount of content on that game. Like I said, if that's something that does indeed interest you, make sure you are following the channel. I don't really like to do call to actions and all that and I think it sounds a bit weak like begging for subs and stuff and everybody says it now so it doesn't really matter regardless but um we are a small channel and i am trying my best to improve my content and bring the best quality that i can so assess we did see this in my final fantasy 7 rebirth gameplay what this spell does is it detects the weaknesses of the target so we're going to check this out here, see what his weaknesses are. So he's weak to wind. So we're going to do a windstorm here. And it's really pressured the target there, which is nice. We can use attack and throw independently, but the movement and the blocking, I think... No, no, no. So interestingly... In Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, 
uh, heal up here. So in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the blocking is actually handled by the classic mode. Um, strangely enough, the the classic mode in Final Fantasy VII Remake actually allows you to block manually. Now, I'm not sure, does she block herself? No, she does actually block herself as well. So you do have the opportunity to manually block in those clutch moments where it's like, oh no, I'm gonna take a big hit. Sucks to be you. Very, very nimble character. Very, very well animated. Obviously, Yuffie's going to be in the new game as well. So it would be good to get to know her abilities. I am quite enjoying this. I mean, I know it's only 30 FPS. It can be a little bit jarring. Being a PC gamer myself, it can be a little bit jarring. But I tell you, once you get used to it, it, it the graphical fidelity, it, it's something to behold. And it really is immersive. A very cinematic experience. To say the least. I am playing this on a 45p gaming monitor. No palm. So I am really up close to the screen. Um, I've noticed the performance mode is not too bad on a television. Uh, you sat back a little bit, you don't really see the imperfections. But when you're at a monitor, I definitely feel that the 30 FPS modes can be very advantageous. Okay? Anybody home? But it is a preference thing, but I generally don't see many videos recorded in the graphical fidelity mode so i thought it'd be an interesting sort of experiment to see what people uh make of it and what they think of it so we're gonna get the elevator moving strike more than just press okay bit of a puzzle thing going on right all right up yeah there we go nice so the these sort of ghosty guys that have been all throughout Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'm really intrigued to see what they're about. They're a bit of a mystery now. People have got their, their theories, fan theories, etc. But we don't actually know what they're going to be um, pertaining to in the main story. Oh my days, that shadowing looks so good. Let's go. Get ready. So obviously, if you look down on the lower right, you can see the ATB meter filling up. I am taking quite a lot of damage here, actually. It's definitely no pushover. And the music's dead, dead on point as always. There's a nice little small amount of motion blur that really smooths out the animations in combat as well. It's pretty good to see. See if we can steal anything from the target here. Failed to steal item. Shame. And depending on how quick I can get this video done, I may, uh, I may also stream, stream, sorry, make some videos on Final Fantasy VII Remake. I am very close to the end of it on the hardest setting, but my God, that, that has been a grind. Like, it, it, that is such a difficult game on hard. It was for me anyway. Um... How it's been for other people, I'm not entirely sure, but for me, it's been bloody hard. It really has. Can we get under here? Yeesh, that's okay. a total dump. I thought Midgar was supposed to be the marvel of the modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako. It's very puzzly, this, uh, compared to the the standard version. A lot of traversing, uh, climbing up and down things. It's kind of crazy, actually. We are nearing our goal point here, though. Looks like there's some enemies over there. The view distance is very good as well. This feels a lot closer to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I gotta do something. 
So it's looking. Don't fear, don't fear Yuffie's here. We've got to get over there somehow. You're like, the ghost is in a bit of trouble. You'll do the trick. So I'm going to use the crane. They have some strange obsession in Final Fantasy with the uh, with the crane. Uh, let's go. Sweet. Sweet. Nice. They've added a little shortcut there to get back quicker. Let's go. So let me know in the comments how you feel about me recording these in the graphical fidelity mode or would you rather see them in the performance mode? I'm open to suggestions and intrigued on what people actually prefer. Oh dear. Wow. My days. I might actually die here. Holy moly. So we are low on MP now. We have to be a little bit more careful. So these are proving quite difficult to set down. We're gonna use our ninja blade. Seems to do a lot more damage actually. The triangle ability. We just are gonna assess these to see what their weakness is. So the weak to cold. So we'll remember that. Not even a thank you. This is one of them ghosty guys again. I really am dying to know what these guys are about. I think they're the failed projects prior to Sephiroth. Personally, that's what that's what I think they are. It could be something that simple. I guess we'll just not never know until uh, we know, basically. Oh, what's this? Ooh, a thousand gil. Let's go. So we are just going to check as well that we've got the FOV settings on the bed. Oh my god, look at how beautiful that looks. That is so crazy, eh? Graphic settings. Uh, we are at full distance here. Uh, normal classic dated. Okay, okay. I mean, look at this. Holy moly. Looks so good. Antidote. Let's just see if we've actually got uh, ether. No, we don't actually. Oh dear. Um. So I hope we do pick up some ether. Genova, see, that's what makes me think that they are uh, failed experiments of Genova or children of Genova. Stunning character models, aren't they? Okay. You got this. You got this, you be. So there is no out of combat role in this like there is in Rebirth. You can run. Okay. Gone. And run still works on run still work on right trigger. I'll be working for Shinran next. Yeah, run still works on right trigger. There's just no out of combat role, unfortunately. City's getting to me. But graphically it looks absolutely amazing. It's kind of crazy that this game's made in Unreal Engine 4 and what they've actually managed to achieve with that. It's quite an older engine now. 
But I think they've stayed really faithful to the original. And I think, like, you know, it's a bit of a love letter to the fans. So, let's go. We're nearly at our goal here. All the way up. Oh, what's this? It's a materia of some kind. Orb of MP up materia. Ooh. Let's just have a look here. So we've not got any items we can do. Steel materia, deadly dodge, healing, assess, parry. Let's just stick this MP up in for now. I've no idea how long this DLC is, so it may be uh, a couple of parts to it. I've not really looked up any information on it. I just sort of dived in. I thought it'd be a nice video to make in light of the new Final Fantasy coming out. So we've got some ways to go here. And there's a couple of different ways. Um, So I think we've gone the wrong way here, actually. But we did get a materia out of it, which is good. Make sure we're not going around in circles here. This indeed looks like the way we need to go. Come from any monster troubles or? <laughs> well, yeah, a few, mate. Monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. So one thing that I've noticed about Rebirth that's a massive, massive upgrade is if you see the NPCs in town, these look very low fidelity. I have noticed in Rebirth, the NPCs are very high resolution. I hope that continues across the entire game. And all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people about their city need not worry about any additional complications. Typical news spreading false propaganda. What do we have here? That's gotta be avalanche. She wants to be an avalanche. Yuffie wasn't majorly covered in the original on the PlayStation 1. You're Avalanche? I'm Gigi. Follow me. W wait up! He's not Avalanche. At least I don't think he is. So, Gigi, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from. Think of it as a code name. Uh huh. Let's just see if we can purchase. Oh no, we're gonna have to go and follow him. Don't worry, I know exactly what you're saying. We'll pop back and uh... oh, there's a material there. We'll pop back and see if there's any weaponry or anything we can buy as an upgrade. The mission was a success. So well, here we are, ladies first. Oh, can I hear Jesse? What? <laughs> Voiced by, um, I forget his name, he's out of Breaking Bad. Really suits the character as well. Weird. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nio. Hey, hey. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. <laughs> Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Zonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. 
He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. She's pretty funny. Butai's famous de chow beans. Eat up. De chow beans. Oh, here you go. Hmm. Can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> ah. Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? Okay. Interesting. Boomerang. Okay. Nice. Or maybe not. Um... It does a little bit more magic damage. Evading attack ATB increases when successful. Can use Wells Urban, Brumal Farm, Elemental Ninjutsu. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if this is a better weapon or not. I suppose we will find out. Okay. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. <sighs> well, if you had an ID, but with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on. So he's kind of looking like a full-fledged yeah, DLC. This. To sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight. I'm hoping there's quite a lot of leveling involved just to flat. Harsh. Be nice yeah, to uh, get to Billy practiced and back He's got some intel you might want into the flow of things ready for the new Final Fantasy. <sighs> My teeth. You're welcome. So the materia I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? As for what to do once you make it into the building, ask Nayo. She'll give you the deets. So it's looking like we may be going back into the Shinra HQ. Why don't you get some rest? Where Hojo is? All the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. I'm red. How about you tell me where in the Shinra and obviously Genova. Instead. Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the advanced weaponry division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. I don't know what the Just Moogle hat's all you. about, though. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's try and get hey, out of it. Be okay out there? Got all the info you need? Uh, I don't know. Is there more that I need? You look about ready to die of boredom. Want to play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Intriguing.
Bark Condor is a board game where you employ units of material to destroy your opponent's headquarters. When player begins, select a loadout. Okay. Um, okay. Let's just jump into this and see what we uh, what we do. When the game begins, you and your opponent will each have three bases headquarters to outpost with the match. Destroy your opponent. Okay. So it's a bit like tower defense sort of thing. Um. So we're going to want something with high defense on the front line. Okay, so it's a little bit like, um, is it Clash Royale? L1 sets location, cast magic. Okay, okay, okay. So we're also going to bring out um, a trooper here, I think. Oh no. We're gonna need um Hmm, a guard dog could be good here. Let's try and check out the cannon there with our fire ability. Interesting. So we are pushing through here. Let's try and slug right out. See yeah, how that does. And another security officer. Oh, slug ray. So it's this flying thing. Interesting. So we are going to need a right trooper here. Kind of defend this. We are making some wicked progress here, though. So we got no heal left. So it's a real, it feels like Clash Royale. Like, like, I'd love a game. If they made a game like this, like a permanent game like this, I think it'd be awesome. I'd love to play something like this uh, in the Final Fantasy universe. Nice. Looking like we're winning. See if we can take out this turret here with the grenadier. Oh, nice. We've blown the turret. Let's go. Check out this tower again here. Oh, we put a trooper down. Nice. Victory. Da -da -da. That's quite a nice little mini game. I enjoyed that. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean <laughs> you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! 
You may now challenge rank one. Interesting. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, it's that thing that... Hmm? <laughs> There's even a portable... Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology. So what do you say? I really don't have time to be playing around. But just to be polite. <laughs> if you ever feel like some virtual training... Right, so Chadley's VR uh, thing is also active in this uh, expansion. So, to keep the episodes at a decent length, I don't want to be dragging this out too long. So we are going to split this up into multiple parts. So as always, if you've enjoyed today's episode, comment, like, subscribe, and send it in the comments, like I said before, about what you think of the graphical fidelity mode and the 30 FPS video. If you do enjoy it, I will continue recording um, possibly in the future with this mode. But as always, I've been me, you've been you, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.